Hey lovely people, this is Nella and today we're gonna watch episode 4 of Heartstopper. So for a quick recap, a lot of things happened in episode 3. Nick was googling things about his sexuality, he was taking quizzes, and then he got invited to a birthday party in which he invited Imogen who has feelings for him as well as Charlie who also have feelings for him. And at this party, Tara came out to Nick. Ben approached Charlie and Charlie pushed Ben against the wall and all of a sudden, Charlie and Nick kissed and Nick was called out by the dude bros. Charlie cried to his dad and then it was the next morning, Nick was outside our house. So that's where we're at and then we'll see what's gonna happen next. Let's go. Um, uh, so, about we're smiling. Marupok. So, about last night, um... We're gonna talk about this in the doorway. Let's talk about this in private. I wanted to say that. Let's give him a change of clothes first. Um, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. He's just picking up a jumper he left you last week. Uh, well, don't forget we're going to Grandma's this morning, Charlie. But he's changed out of your pajamas. Oh. Mom's looking out for us. It's like, bestie, your man's is here. Here. Oh. Okay. That was a bit concerning. So, I'm so sorry. Uh oh. I'm so sorry. It was, I didn't think properly about what I was doing, and it was a stupid thing to do, and, and I don't want you to be awkward about it because it was all my fault. Charlie, hang on. I shouldn't have kissed you. But you just felt pressured to do it because I asked, and I know you probably don't want to talk to me he ever again. I thought but about that the whole night. See if maybe there's a chance we can still be friends. Charlie. I don't want to lose you because I did something stupid. Charlie. Oh! The way he's holding his face. <gasps> oh my. Is this real? Oh man! Let me Is this real? Um, Holy sh. God. I'm so sorry. I'm just so sorry I ran away last night. Mm -hmm. I was just freaking out because I, I was confused and surprised and like honestly, I'm having a proper full-on gay crisis. Oh my god. <laughs> and it's not that I didn't want to, you know, kiss you. I, just, I was just so confused. That's fine, we understand. I've just been so, so confused. I just think I need some time to figure think. this out. Mm-hmm. That's fine. We can take it slow. Oh! <laughs> I just love the fact that in episode 2, Nick is kind of the one who was very supportive and was there for Charlie when he's going through the whole thing with Ben. And right now, at this moment, it's the opposite. It's now Charlie being there for Nick. At school. We're doing this in the hallway. Okay? This a secret. Oh no. Yeah. I just don't really know if I can. Uh... Oh, we're in this situation again, Charlie. We're in this situation again, huh? Come out as anything. What? Yeah. It's fine. I mean, yeah, it's fine. This is secret. I just don't think Charlie have had a very good experience with something like this. And I'm talking about Ben. We've been here before, babes. Mm. Bye. Bye. Wait, they gonna so what are we? Are we what are we? Oh god. What? Oh my The gays love the rain, huh? Hi. Are you gonna kiss? Did I forget something? Are you gonna kiss him? Yeah. My greatest fear if someone from school saw them. Hopefully not. Hey. Hey. Something's different. What? Oh. Have you changed your hair? What? No. You have. Oh. I've known you since like year seven. I can tell when something's changed. You look. Wait, we're trying to look cute. 
Don't worry, for I'm a highly qualified hairstylist. Qualified from where? I think Nick forgot that she confessed to him. Wow. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> your hair. Dude. Gotta go. I forgot I had morning detention. Aww, oh, she seems like a great friend. I'm oh, sorry we gotta break hearts. We're happy. We're finally happy. Like, genuinely happy. <laughs> We're gonna say hi. I know we're gonna say hi. <laughs> oh, the oh. What? Oh, hi. Hi. Is this how it's gonna be now? <laughs> That's hurt me. Dude, I've been there. No, we're just finally taking the opportunity to kiss as much as possible. <laughs> no, we're not. Happy for you, but like. Keep it somewhere private. Yeah, yeah, this. This too. I'm getting some vibes. I mean, this could all just be platonic, but like. Mm. There's a boy in there waiting for you. Oh my god. Oh. Wait. Yeah. What if it's. It what if it's Ben? The straight secret boyfriend or the straight boy crush? <laughs> He's on the rugby team. Join the rugby team. Of course you did. Uh, yeah, we well, don't believe you, babe. Wait, what if it's Ben? Okay. Hi. Oh. Hi, missed you. I saw you in form like four hours. You sure oh, the sun's there? Holy morning? shit. They can do. Clearly, I need to be here to get tips on how to be good at rugby. Oh, really? So that's what this is actually all about then? I, I did not anticipate how un. Oh. Feels nice to be able to ditch my friends for once. Oh. All they want to do I'm annoying, they're gonna be once they're like together. Chuck stuff for people. Chuck stuff? Yep. Mainly Harry. He's an idiot. Bully. Friends are nothing like you. Are we even allowed in there? Yeah. I used to come in here a lot last year. Like, when the bullying was really bad. Mr. Ajayi was the only teacher who really cared that much. Well, he was giving me evils before you got here. He must have thought you were Ben. Oh. I told him. About the Ben making me give us a secret thing. Oh. No. Oh. I mean, that's yeah, this I'm was doing. what I was talking about. We've been here before. Let's just hope it's gonna end differently. Well, it obviously is. Because Nick is not an asshole. Dang. Like, I don't understand what's happening. I'm so sorry. Oh, we're gonna get so bullied after this. collection today, Charlie. Ew. About the tackling, you've really got to commit to it, okay? All about confidence. Well, it's hard to be confident when they all see me as a stereotypical gay boy who can't do sports. A lot of gay people are good at sports, Charlie. Oh, I guess it's like he didn't want to touch anyone in case anyone's gonna be like, "Ew, you're gay. Like, don't touch me," kind of thing. Oh no. Where's Nick? <laughs> what is this shot? <laughs> what is this shot? No, no. <laughs> oh, where is Nick? <laughs> Tackling montage. Let's tackle the straights. A. Hey. Apparently, they were kissing at Harry's party. Ooh, what are we talking Not about? Really well, some girls who are friends just do that. Oh, Actually, we're talking about Tara. There are 1,200 people at this school, so at least a few of them are going to be lesbians. Bruh. Why are people talking about this? You're a lesbian and you have no idea. Okay. It'll die down soon, won't it? Oh, oh yeah. really we're so. the talk of town. Tara, I need to talk to you. Oh, God. Oh, we know each other. One minute here, you and Nick Nelson are a thing. The next are here kissing some girl at Harry's party. What's your deal? Tara literally kisses her girlfriend at a crowded party. Oh. And people so that girl is her girlfriend. That girl. Why are we? I'm right here. Girl. Like just so you know, me and Nick are basically together. So I just Oh shit. Me and Nick Nelson are together. Oh shit. <laughs> no, girly. I'm like pretty you're much. delusional. Let's get that. Yeah. Very cute. <laughs> They're like, this girl has a bit of a loose. So you and Nick are definitely not. I'm a lesbian. Okay. 
They go shut oh no, I'm starting to not like her. I'm not like homophobic. I'm an ally. <laughs> she is so weird. Hell nah. I just hope she's not gonna tell Charlie this. <laughs> Charlie's eating lunch with Nick again. He's been eating lunch with him a lot. Oh, they're in the honeymoon phase. It's not even like they're dating. Oh, oh yeah, they don't know. They don't know. Because Charlie's not going to tell them. Unless they are. Look at them. It's a bad idea to even walk near them. Let alone actually befriend one of them. I get what Charlie's they mean, though. No. danger just because he has a little unrequited crush. Oi, catch! <laughs> oh, oh, shit. You okay? Yes. Okay, now I understand why they don't like him. Or why they don't want Charlie anywhere near him. Why him? Why so at him? Man. Well, I guess he is a bystander. That's not really something you want your friend to go date. So, all my friends are showing up in a bit to watch me play. I feel like they just want to see oh, what's up. Who said they wanted to be supportive? Don't worry. I won't say anything about us. But <laughs> at this point, I think it's oh. Nick is thinking yeah, of a different thing. You sure it's okay? Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, so this is Tara and Darcy. Yeah. Oh, Tara. Oh, Tara. He's Yay! seen Tara for the first time. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm mainly here to get acquainted with the local gays, but. You know, you and Nick Nelson are looking suspiciously couple. Oh, oh shit! My friends, he's my friend. Friends, friends. friends. <laughs> Why are there are there rumors? Oh shit! No, no, nothing but my gay intuition. I promise, we're totally platonic good friends. Oh, that doesn't really feel great to hear, isn't it? Hey. Oh no! Why is she here? Oh my god! A bunch of men. A bunch of men. Who the other team? Literal adult men. Adult men. Sports school. Wow. It's like half of Hollywood acting as high schoolers. Sorry. Nervous. It hurts that this is Charlie's definition of being clingy. Girl. Girl. We are so deprived that we think bumping elbows is being clingy. That makes me want to cry for him. That makes me want to punch or something. Who? Oof. Oh no. I don't know anything against sports. Why is Ben here? Don't let the game go south. You're soft, bitch. No, I just don't like that she lied. Like, I can't get over it. I have been delusional. Like, when I, I... I liked someone and I was delusional, but I've never just spread rumors about being with someone. So I look up the meaning of delusional, and yeah, I used it the right way. But in Google, it says here that it's a symptom of a mental condition. So from where I'm from, we just kind of throw that word around, but we don't necessarily mean that you have a literal mental health issue. So that's not what I meant. I'm not trying to diagnose her or diagnose myself. I was just kind of like, yo, where did you get that? Like, where did you get that? Like, what's your evidence? You're like jumping to conclusions, okay? Sorry for the use of term. Oh shit! Oh shit! Is he gonna- What is going on? Like, I literally don't understand this. See that number 14, yeah? Oh, he definitely has something to me. What the fuck? It's Harry Green picking on Charlie. Maybe they're friends. That's even worse. Next thing you know, Charlie will be bringing the whole rugby team to our film night to making us watch Avengers or something. I mean, that, that really is a nightmare. I would hate that too. Our friendship group is falling apart, Elle. It's not falling apart. It's not falling apart. Go after him, man. A hundred percent. Uh oh. Just a punch him. What the frick? Can you do that? Uh oh, he's gonna tackle one of them and get like a concussion. Oh, baby. Oh. 
Oh shh. Do it's not. Okay if we bite. No. Keep this a secret. Oh. Yeah. No, do not fucking tell me. Just watch. Hey. <laughs> Don't shock me. I mean, I get it. I get it. But like, I did not like that. I'm sorry. It's fine. Cool. I mean, it's not even gonna it's be like, oh my god, you help him. He's gay. No, he's your teammate. You can do that. You can come near him because he was hurt. That's like a normal thing. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm really sorry for being all clingy and what? annoying. Making this so awkward. You want to keep us a secret and I'm messing it up. What? What? I'm the one who should be saying sorry. Oh sh uh, <laughs> He's our bestie. Sorry for um He's our bestie! He's my favorite. Me, but guy. Miss Singh told me to give you some and he's set it wipes. Bestie knows. Bestie knows. Um, I better go. And they're definitely panicking. Isaac won't say anything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh no. Because the thing is, your friends will eat Charlie's friends. There's, it's not a surprise that they don't like you that much. And even then, when you're already together with them, you, you're a bystander. Charlie's not going to give up on Nick Nelson, is he? Highly doubt it. Maybe we should just stop getting involved. I mean, that's a good thing, right? What are you waiting for? I was just waiting to see Nick. Oh, finally ready to make a move. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Okay, fine. I don't like this friend group at all. Oh, hey. Oh, my God. Hey. Oh, my God. What's up? You did so good. <laughs> Holy yeah, shit. Anyway. And Charlie's friends are... have a front seat. I... Wanted to ask you, but maybe we could like go out somewhere. Oh shit! He's gonna say yes. He's gonna say yes. He's gonna say yes. Like I guess, sort of a date. <laughs> oh no! He's getting peer pressure to say yes. Yeah. I guess so. Sure. Oh, yes, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you can't do that. Oh, what the fuck just happened? First things first, let's start from the beginning. Charlie and Nick is in a relationship now, a secret one. And you know, from the get-go, I was like, oh, this is a repeat. I've seen this film before and I didn't like the ending. We've seen it happen with Ben. The only difference is that Ben probably already had a girlfriend. Nick does not. And, you know, I understand wanting to keep it a secret because he has just found out that he's also attracted to men. And he is in a friend group where dudes, those two girls are just homophobic. It's like, I don't know, I don't know what else to tell you, they are. And I guess he didn't want to be judged and we have to take into consideration their age. Like, at the age, you're a teenager, you just want to be accepted by everyone so i get why he didn't want to i guess he has heard charlie get bullied before for being gay and he didn't want to he didn't want to be bullied like who wants that but also it really sucks for charlie because we thought he was different like i'm not saying he's literally the same as ben ben is still the worst of them all but i don't like what's happening i don't like the fact that he's using imogen now like yeah it's like that might be a bit too much of a stretch oh he's using, he is he is using her to be a mustache just so people wouldn't think he's bi or gay that's not great and also you have a you have a boyfriend and you agreed to go on a date with someone else and also um tao i don't hate him that much like i am now just really starting to see why he's a bit overprotective like not only did he witness charlie get bullied before 
they like all of them like l him and isaac were also getting bullied so we'll see i'm going to watch the next episode i don't like this <laughs> bye